Vegeta, who was empowered by Babidi's spell and more determined than ever, remained locked in fierce combat with Goku. In the midst of the battle, the two Saiyans began to sense a massive energy that suddenly appeared in the distance. Realizing the energy must belong to Majin Buu, Goku pleaded with Vegeta to stop the fight so they could focus on defeating the new threat. Vegeta knew Goku would no longer be able to concentrate on their battle, so he agreed, or so it seemed. It was just a lie to make Goku lower his guard. With Goku distracted, Vegeta knocked him unconscious. He then made his way to Majin Buu's location, ready to fight the menace he helped bring back into existence. Majin Buu's free because of me, so I'll be the one to get rid of him. I'll settle the score with you after that. That is, if I make it back alive. Right. Time to go meet this Majin Buu face to face. Gohan's energy is already gone. Forgive me. This is my fault. That's it, huh? I might as well destroy it while I can. Telling you to destroy my ship! So that fat bastard with the ugly mug is Majin Buu, huh? You. You killed Gohan, didn't you? <gasps> Gohan! Ugly mug? What's that? It means he thinks you have a strange face. <laughs> now Buu angry! I'm not going to hell on my own. I'm taking you all with me!
Sergeant Boo needs to be taken care of, but you're the real cause behind all this, <laughs> Bobbity. This... this can't be! Drunks, my son, 
take good care of your mom for me. Wh what are you talking about, Dad? What do you mean, take good care of mom? You need to get as far away from here as you can. I'm going to fight Majin Buu on my own. N no way! We're gonna fight too! The three of us can take him down for sure! Trunks, I haven't given you a single hug since the day you were born, have I? Huh? Come here, son. Uh... Dad? Uh... What are you doing, Dad? Cut it out! You're embarrassing me! <laughs> Take care, Trunks. Huh? Ah! Ugh. Why'd you... Why'd you do that? Why'd you hit Trunks? <laughs> Take these two as far away from here as you can. I'm counting on you, Piccolo. You're prepared to die, aren't you? Just tell me one thing. If I die, will I be able to see Kakarot in the other world? I'm afraid not. You've killed too many innocent people. When you die, you'll lose your body, and your soul will be carried off to a different world. I see. That's too bad. Now, get out of here. Hurry! No! Boo, no! Let you go! Wait! Majin Boo! You're going to have to defeat me first! You got that? Fight me, you brain-dead balloon! Uh, you say mean things, even though you're weak! I finally know how to get rid of you. Once and for all. Hey! What in the world is Vegeta doing? He's gonna get himself killed! For the first time ever, he's finally fighting to protect someone other than himself. Throwing his life away to do it. To make sure you can't put yourself back together, I'm going to blow you into microscopic pieces! Farewell, Bulma, Trunks. Yes, even you cannot. Here, take these two. I'm going to see what happened. Uh, okay. I see. 
So if Majin Buu only takes a small amount of damage, his cells can regenerate. To prevent that, Vegeta sacrificed himself to blow Majin Buu into a trillion pieces. We were saved by him, of all people. <laughs> Babidi, you're still alive. Guess I'll have to fix that. Tell me, Majin Buu's fragments, they're... Majin Buu is still alive! Do you want me to seal you up again? Yeah! Ooh, ooh, good! Well done, Martin Boo! That green fool and those two runs have messed with me for the last time! They will learn to fear the great Bobbity and Martin Boo! Reduce this planet to a desolate hellscape, Margin Boo! Kill as many of the Earthlings as it takes to flush those Cretans out of hiding! He's not dead? Majin Buu's not dead? Uh, no way! Vegeta sacrificed himself for nothing?! It's not safe here on the surface. Get the kids and everyone else to Kami's lookout, right now! These two are the planet's last chance, as slim as it may be. <laughs> 